Human Immunity Immunity is the body's self-defense mechanism against diseases. Pollutants and germs can enter the human body through skin, mucous membrane of eyes, nose, urinary or genital tracts, food and water, as well as the air that we breathe. The human defense system works at two levels, that is, local defense mechanism, which is prevention of entry of germs, and the immune system. The primary local defense system tries to form mechanical barriers, thus preventing the entry of germs. The immune system fights the germs after they have entered into the body tissues. The main benefits of the local defense system are its quick response and its power to fight against a wide range of potentially infectious threats. The parts of the local defense system are independent of previous exposure to infections. The local defense system consists of protective mechanical barriers, germs or foreign bodies thrown out if entered, germ-killing secretions, germ-fighting white blood cells. Skin, hair and mucus form the primary mechanical barriers of a human body. Skin is made of the protein keratin. It forms a protective covering on the body and is impermeable to germs. Any cut or injury on the skin opens the way for germs to invade the body. Mucus is the slimy section of the epithelial cells that forms a delicate covering of many organs. The mucus present inside the windpipe and the nasal chamber traps the germs. Even if germs enter the respiratory or the digestive systems, they are thrown out by vomiting, coughing and sneezing. Sometimes, loose motions or diarrhea also help to clear the digestive tract of the germs. Saliva, sweat, tears and nasal secretions contain several germ-killing secretions. The hydrochloric acid secreted by the stomach kills the germs that enter our body through the food. The white blood cells or phagocytes are the cells of the immune system. They fight with the foreign materials and prevent the body from infections. The white blood cells squeeze out the blood capillaries by the process of diapedesis and destroy the germs. This process is known as phagocytosis. The local defense system may not be effective at all times. In certain cases, the microbes invade all the mechanical barriers and enter the deeper tissues and organ systems. Under such circumstances, the human body produces special proteins called antibodies and antitoxins to fight against the threat. In other words, immunity is defined as the capacity of our body to deal with foreign substances such as bacteria, viruses, toxins, etc. that enter our body and render them harmless. 
Immunity can be innate or acquired. Innate immunity, also called natural or innate immunity, is by virtue of the genetic constitutional makeup of the body. It is there in the body without any external stimulation or previous infection. Innate immunity can be specific and non-specific. Specific immunity is the natural resistance against a specific germ only. For example, human beings are immune to a highly infectious disease of dogs known as distemper, which kills about 50% of all infested dogs. Non-specific immunity is the natural resistance to all kinds of infections in general. For example, human beings are immune to highly infectious diseases of plants. Acquired immunity is the resistance which an individual acquires during his or her lifetime. This immunity is of two types, namely actively acquired immunity and passively acquired immunity. Actively acquired immunity is the resistance developed due to a previous infection or due to an antigen. Antigen is the chemical found on the surface of the disease-causing germ cell. If the antigen is introduced in the body by artificial means during vaccination, it can lead to an artificially acquired active immunity. On the other hand, if the antigen enters his body naturally, it is called naturally acquired active immunity. This kind of resistance is possible due to some previous infection or entrance of antigen into our body naturally. In either of the two cases, the body's lymphocytes react by producing antibodies, ocular cells. The produced antibodies circulate in the blood and the lymph thereby killing the microbes. Passively acquired immunity is the introduction of ready-made antibodies from an outside source. It is of two types. Naturally acquired passive immunity. In this type of defense mechanism, the prepared antibodies of the mother enters the fetus through the placenta. Artificially acquired passive immunity. In this, the antibodies are extracted from the blood of some animals after injecting germs into their bodies. The serum containing the antibodies is collected and used to make anti-serum injections like anti-venin or anti-diphtheria. These injections are then injected into the victim's body. For example, in the treatment of snake bite, anti-venin injections are given to the patient. The entire human immune system can be summarized as shown. Antibodies are special chemicals found in the blood that fight germs or their secretions. The specialized lymphocytes on exposure to antigens produce antibodies. These specialized lymphocytes are present in the lymph nodes, spleen, lymph and in the circulating blood. Antibodies are proteins belonging to the class of immunoglobulins. 
Antibodies are specific as one kind of antibody acts only against one type of an antigen. An antibody after recognizing its antigen binds with it and renders it harmless which is later destroyed and eliminated by the body. Immunity produced by antibodies can be for a short period as in common cold, cholera or for a longer period as in smallpox, measles etc. Some of the antibodies are present in the blood of some people from birth. These people are immunized against certain diseases even if the germs have invaded the body. 